I am Yoshiko Iwamoto Wada, a producer of Natural Dye Workshop DVD series featuring Michelle Garcia. I am with Catherine Ellis, a weaver and natural dyer here in beautiful Loris, producing the third DVD, The Colors of Europe, Lake Pigment, Extracts and Their Applications. Catherine, what are your favorite parts in our film? There were many parts that I found interesting. Why don't we have a look? I did bring this morning a few flowers from my balcony and from the garden. So inside of the sap of the fresh flower, of course there's some color. So I invite you to some preliminary explanation about what is in the sap and how we could do to fix these colors at the best. This is totally different now because it's giving a kind of pink, you can see that. So from a very small number of colors of plants, I will have different shades. So that's the main subject of the DVD, to show you how to use the genuine plant and how to modify the sap in order to get a very stable range of shades. Let me begin by producing a brilliant yellow from some flowers, some blossoms of a common tree here, which is the pagoda tree. I can see that my blossom did boil enough in water for the sap to be inside of the liquid, so I just have to filter that and get my saturated solution of dye stuff, of color. So we'll put that in the solution here. Stir a little bit. We'll look at the results on the piece of paper as previously. The color is much more saturated. It's very, very strong, very impressive uh, yellow. The combination of the two things is generating a brilliant and stable shade. So now we have four different colors from the aluminum salt. We have one color from the titanium salt and one color from the ferrous salt. I want to save all this juice because the pigment will be made of that. I will have plenty of, of bubbles appearing. So that's funny, it looks like a kind of a uh, kind of dessert or something like that. So actually I did save some of this lake to wash that correctly by adding some water on top. So as a fresh paste it can be used for a warm bath process dye. This pink from the mother lake when over dye in indigo is giving that grayish purple. Now from these powdered pigments, we can make watercolors. We can have some kind of dilution on that. But that's from this binder. Okay, so that, that's my pasty color here. So, okay, we put that together with the water. And then on that, we'll just add my fine plaster. And this paste will be applied on the wall. Of course, at the moment it's ready, I just have about 10 to 15 minutes to finish the pot. I have to cover the whole surface, then I will polish my surface. But first of all, I have just to finish that. Now, for the lower part of the wall, I will use another technique. I'll just mix them with the liquid wax. What a wonderful film this is going to be. Catherine, do you have some samples of the applications covered in our film? I do. I have silk here that was dyed using a matter lake made from a leftover matter dye bath. And this silk was dyed with a lake using titanium and thyme. And this fabric I wove on the loom of wool and cotton when using a matter lake to dye it, only the wool took the dye. Wow, I love this example. 
Of course, we covered other applications in our workshop. Yes, we did. We took those same pigments and used them on plaster walls, on paper, and on wood. So, folks, you too can achieve great results with our Natural Dye Workshop DVD series. I hope you support our campaign. Thank you. Thank you.